<laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. My name is Unveiled Entertainment Network, and joining me here today is three-man broadcast, Hardy T. Snipe and Paintball Falcon, a.k.a. Tyler and Brandon. And today we're going to be discussing the topic of topics, Destiny versus Halo 5. All right, now I know a lot of people are going to say, well, how is that going to make any sense because one game is going to be ahead of the other in terms of year-wise and whatever. So from my synopsis, right, Gathering all the information that I did from my little group, being, you know, Spencer, aka Big Fish, and you know, uh, you know, AJ, and everybody else, you guys, a lot of you guys seem to just be stuck on the fact that Destiny is going to be better than Halo and is going to be the next Halo. Now, I understand completely when you guys say it's going to be the next Halo because that's that's Bungie's and Infinity Ward's uh, next big project. They want to continue Destiny and whatnot, but. In terms of having two juggernauts of, of, of a game, now, Destiny, we, we don't really know how it's going to play off yet because it hasn't come out, but we all know how Halo is like. So, I want to get your guys' opinion on Halo 5, the entire Halo 5, versus the entire, you know, Destiny complex. I, I want to know, do you guys think, like, Destiny's story will be better than Halo 5's or vice versa? Which gamer is going to have better multiplayer, better customization, better overall feel? Like, if you guys had no life and you had to sit there all day and you had to choose between both games in your hands, which game would you think that you would play more than the other? That's that's what I'm trying to say. Like, we're, let, let, let's go back in 2008 when we had all the great games like Modern Warfare 2 and Halo 3. We had to choose very carefully which game we're going to play because sometimes we, we liked one game over the other because of the different things they had. So I want to get, like, your guys' take on Halo 5 versus Destiny destiny in terms of story multiplayer creativity and the overall like package on which game you think you're going to play more and why i i for one feel i know i already know for a fact i'm gonna be playing destiny more okay because okay go ahead why because they have announced themselves that that game will have more customizations than any other like halo game that's ever been out so okay, ex explain that explain about what do you mean by customizations because some people don't know uh, first off, you got way more character customization, way more armor designs. Um, they said there's like, I forgot, like over like, I would say a hundred or 10,000 different types of, uh, gun customizations you can do just like, uh, Borderlands. And I, after, you know, hearing about that from Borderlands, I was like, well, I wouldn't mind playing that. I never got to play it, but hearing that that's chances about to come back around in a newer game, then I wouldn't mind trying it out to see how it is. Okay. And not only that, but you have the elements from two different games put into one to make the ultimate game. So I, I, I already know for for sure I will be playing the Destiny game more than I will be playing Halo 5. Okay. All right. Hardy T. Snipe? Uh, Halo 5 is going to be good, but Destiny will be a, lot, a whole lot better. Oh, okay. Please explain. Well, we already went to the customization. The second part you said was story. In Destiny, you can, you can make your own story. You can be your own character. You can be your own guy. Halo Five. Okay, but look, look what happened. Shown with... is, look, look. What, what Halo Five is what we've shown is going to be some guy named Agent Locke. You get to play as him. And Halo and Destiny, you get to be your own character, your own person in this massive universe. Okay, but it's almost it's world. almost as if you're playing Mass Effect all over again. Yeah, but it's open. But it's open world, MMO. Okay, so so you feel like in terms of story, it's going to be better, right? It's going to be better. Yeah, okay. going to be better. Yeah. Oh, you're saying definitely, as if like you're 100% sure. Yeah, 100% sure. Yeah. So, so, so you're not intrigued whatsoever on what's gonna happen next in the Halo universe with them reintroducing the elites and then having this all-out manhunt for this fucking godlike deity. Like you don't, you don't really. I mean, Officer oh, Matthew's gonna be there, running around doing the same old running gun story. I mean, yeah, it's true. See, along with that, it's like. With, with Halo, you've already experienced a lot of stuff with Halo, and I mean, they're just going to add what was already there. They're not going to have anything brand new that you've never seen before. With Destiny, it's going to be a completely new thing you've well, never that, seen. Well, that you don't really know about, because what information have they released on Halo yet? I mean, D Destiny looks great and all, but, I mean, I just I feel, mean, like, I, I feel like... I feel like it's a game that you're going to play for a little while, and then somehow, some way, it's going to get really repetitive. Like, I feel like online... I don't know, man. Like, right now, I think the best multiplayer game out right now in terms of online is probably Des uh, um, Titanfall. Titanfall, I believe, is probably the best one out right now. Probably until, like, Hardline comes out. But, Tyler, like, what? Like, do you not feel the same way? Because 
Titanfall introduces a different way of playing a game. So I understand that Destiny is going to introduce that as well, but you're not interested whatsoever on the new Forge mode, the new uh, overall creativity that you're going to have in terms of environments, in terms of characters, in terms of all these things that they're, that they're going to bring to you possibly. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, Halo started that. If anything, if Destiny had that, then yeah, I would say. I'm excited, I'm excited about the Halo stuff, but I mean, I'm more, you know, ready for Destiny to come out. I mean, Halo 5, I mean, Forge, that's already came out. They're just going to bring it back in, redo it, refix it, re, you know, redo everything thing about it they're going to redo theater if they have that it's, it, they're mostly just bringing back stuff that's been you know really good in other halo adding games. on like i said back. they're just adding to what just was already there back. and okay well, um with forge like we've been complaining about and everybody not just us but everybody's been complaining about they need to add weather effects they need to add environment <laughs> like trees or rock like stuff that you can't normally use and like not, and not just have it to where a certain block is on that certain map. You can have that same block on all different maps, well, no matter what map it is. So, I mean, if they can do something like that, then I'd be looking forward to it. But until they mention anything like that, where they're going to have Forge like, to the ultimate level of creativity, I don't see any like, hype about it being good. So. So, so you guys just... After Halo 4, you guys, that's it? Like, you just lost all hope in, in, in Halo... You're not, you're not even, like, willing to, like, be like, you know what? Things might be different in this one. You guys are just, like, throwing it under the fucking guardrail already. Well, what do you think? What do you think is going to be... What, what do you think you'll play more of? I think, in terms of this being the best Halo game, I think the best one will forever be Halo 3. That's without question. But I think, in terms of graphics, this one's going to be the best. In terms of probably multiplayer... I can't say yet, but in terms of story, probably the best one yet because, like, we don't really know what's going to happen, but we do know that everybody's going to get involved just to go on an all-out manhunt to find several people. It's not just, like, one person, but I I also feel like a lot of people aren't giving Halo credit because without Halo, right, I mean, would we have games like Call of Duty and Battlefield? I mean, the same thing can be said about Counter-Strike. I mean, without Counter-Strike, would we not have Halo? But without Halo, we wouldn't have Destiny, so... In a sense, I do believe that Destiny is going to be very good. Possibly, possibly game of the year. But I do believe that 343 is going to sit back and wait and just learn from Destiny and probably incorporate some things that they need to incorporate in order for that game to be a successful game. And I know you guys are going to get Halo 5 regardless. And when that time comes, I want to hear like everything, like your overall full synopsis on the game. And I have a feeling that one person in here might just hate the game, even if it's good, just because he just feels like, oh, it's not in him anymore to like play the game like that. But in terms of Destiny versus Halo, I'm sorry, but I think and whoever's eating chips, you can go to hell. But I'm about to- <laughs> I, I, th- I think in terms of story, <laughs> Halo's gonna have a deeper story. It's gonna have more meaning than Destiny's because your your de- your story is just beginning in Destiny. In Halo, yours is continuing on. It's like it's like watching a, a sequel to a movie. Um, but I have a weird feeling that I... And I really hope this doesn't happen, but I really hope Destiny does not turn out like Mass Effect 3. If you guys no. know what I mean. No. Because I'll be on Facebook. <clears throat> and if, you know, if I see anything, like, uh, entertainment-wise that I like... I'll like it so they'll so I can see more information on it. And I actually went and liked Destiny stuff. And every single time that I see a picture on there from Destiny, it's just flawless. I'm like, I, I cannot wait to get my hands on it. Yeah, them. but that's just design art. We're not talking like full, you know, overall. Well, they showed alpha gameplay of it. They like people showed alpha versions of it, and it looks pretty uh, good as well. I mean, I don't know. Like, I I feel like I I feel like Halo is gonna be. It's gonna do very good. I feel like you guys are going to be very surprised. I mean, I'm not going to I'm not saying the Halo's going to do bad or not going to be good. I'm just saying uh, uh Destiny's going to be better. Yeah. I uh, we'll see about that. But let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. Destiny or Halo 5, we want to hear your thoughts and opinions. And uh thank you all for watching everybody once again. This has been 3 Man Broadcast and Unreal ENT Network. If you guys are fans, subscribe, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Stay tuned for more, and we'll be seeing you all later everybody. Take it easy. Peace.